or on High School Host Club episode 22 and 23. There's only three episodes left of this show. Which do you recommend? Doing a double feature of 24 and 25 and then watching 26 by itself or doing a triple feature of 24, 25, and 26? Please let me know! So we have this kid who's going to school. He's a first grade. So he's a ninth? Tenth grader. Tenth grader. Yeah, it's a Mori episode, I think. I think it is the only Mori episode we've seen so far. Because there's been a lot of Honey and Mori episodes, but I don't think there's ever been a Mori episode. The host club is dressed up as samurais today. <laughs> Mori is so cool. <laughs> They're breaking the fourth wall by saying he never gets any episodes about him, which is true. So the kid from earlier, instead of actually wanting to attack Mori, he actually wants to be his like student or his apprentice. So he's the son of a very prominent Yakuza group. He has no friends because he's so scary looking and his family is Yakuza. So he's like, but that's not like me at all. I just have a scary face and my family is scary, but I'm not like that. So he looks so scary that even when he was a little kid, they like trained him to be a Yakuza boss. And he's like, I just want to have fun and hang out, but I can't because everyone's afraid of me. <laughs> so he doesn't actually want more to teach him like martial arts or kendo or anything. He's like, you're so scary and you're unsociable just like me. How do you deal with it? Please teach me. And Mori's like, oh, am I like that? <laughs> so Shibaki's like, oh, Mori, you're going to have to deal with this. We, we are not going to have anything to do with this. And Mori looks up and he's like, no, don't leave me. So Shibaki's like, okay, we'll help. So they're talking about how he needs to get a, a lovely item in order to, you know, like, soften the blow of his severity. And, um, you know, for example, Mori has honey. <laughs> He's the lovely item. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, they also have to give him a makeover. So he comes home. <laughs> just, oh, every, oh, God. Just ridiculous looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They keep focusing attention on this kid who works at uh, Casanota's house or whatever, and I imagine that by the end of the episode that will solve his problem somehow. There's also this subplot of people attacking Casanota, and Mori saves him. It looks like the person is targeting Mori, but it's actually, we know that they're targeting um, Casanoda. Casanoda and Haruhi have a little one-on-one -on -one conversation. Can Haruhi be his lovely item? Oh, but he's secretly taking care of a bird with a broken wing! Haruhi discovers him and she's like, oh, can I, can I feed the bird? And he's like, what are these strange feelings I'm getting about this, this, oh! Then a paint can comes out of nowhere and splashes on Haruhi, and the bird flies away. So they're like, we found the people who have been targeting you. That was quickly wrapped up. Ah, this is unexpected. The sweet kid who was working at Casanoda's place turns out to be the son of a different Yakuza boss. He's like, I ran away from my family because of the way they ran things. And then I met you and you gave me your umbrella. We all know that you're, you're shy and clumsy and warm, but we all keep it a secret because we think it'll embarrass you if we tell you that we know. Kassan was like, hooray, now I'm gonna go apologize to Haruhi because he got covered in paint because of me. Be right back. So he walks in and sees Haruhi changing clothes and he's like, ah, you're a girl. The end. Now for episode 23. Oh, this is a two-parter episode. It's taking, it's starting right from where the other one left off. He runs out and the twins are like, oh, so he saw our terrible secret. Kyoya's like, well, let's, let's negotiate here. You don't want the Otori family coming against you. Casanova's underlings are all upset because Casanova seems like he's in a funk and no one knows why. What's happened is that Casanova has fallen in love with Haruhi and they're like, Casanova's fallen in love with a boy? What? So the next day Casanova goes to the host club and he requests Haruhi, which is making everyone kind of like, whoa. <laughs> so he's sitting there, he's like, I'm on a date with a girl, but everyone else is like, 
Casanova's on a date with a guy! And the twins are saying, he shouldn't be allowed in here, he's scaring customers. And Kyoya's like, actually, they all look quite infatuated. This is quite good for business. The twins finally <laughs> throw Tamaki into the situation and they're like, fix this! They're like, quick, you have to save Harley before she becomes a Yakuba, bleh, a Yakuza boss wife. Finally, Tamaki gets up and he starts screaming at Casanoda. Casanoda cuts him down pretty quickly. Where did all the guests go? <laughs> Haruhi mentions that Tamaki is kind of like my dad and Tamaki overhears that. And well, Haruhi mentioned that Tamaki and her father share similar personality traits. Tamaki took that as like, oh, he seems kind of like a father to me. Oh, now all the guests are back. He's about to profess his love, Casanoda. When he gets friend zoned, Casanova's like, the only way to protect Haruhi is to be friends forever. And all the girls run over and they're like, Casanova, we're your best friends too. So now he has lots of friends. Hooray! It all worked. Now they all go outside to play kick the can together. Aww. Mori and Honey are sitting up in a tree, and they're they're sort of reflecting on how. They all have feelings for Haruhi. Wonder if anything will come from that before we graduate. Because it's clear that Tamaki has feelings and it's clear that Hikaru has feelings. What about uh, Kaoru? Does he have feelings? Does Kyoya have feelings? Who knows? Whatever. The end. Okay, so again, let me know what I should do with the remaining three episodes of this show. I was hoping for an episode that would talk about Mori's past because we got a really in-depth look at the twins and Kyoya got kind of an introspective episode. I mean, it wasn't like about his past, but it was definitely about his like family and the reason why he behaves the way he does. Honey also got a family episode as well. We still basically know nothing about Tamaki. We know about he's that like an illegitimate child of a French woman and the head of the school. But um, aside from that, we don't know much. And I was, I was hoping that this Mori episode was going to be like, all about why he is the way he is, but, but um, it was really barely about Mori at all. And in the second episode, um, it was more about Tamaki than it was about Mori, so that's too bad. Anyway, I'll see you next time for either a double feature or a triple feature, depending on your recommendations. Then, of course, I'll be doing retrospectives and character analysis of the characters. So I'll see you next time. Bye!